Hi, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Monday, the 25th of July, 25th, 26th of July, 2021. We're using Lightseer's Tarot for our message today. And of course, you know it, our amazing Oracle cards as well, which we will get started with. We are tuning into the energy atmosphere of the day, how it's charged, how we can navigate that and work, play, laugh, love within it, right? Okay, so our first animal spirit card is trust in the magic. <laughs> this is a message that's been coming to us quite a bit lately. You are the magic, you make the magic. And along with White Raven is Grasshopper again. That's the second time. Take a leap of faith. So it was either Friday's message or the weekend message. This card showed up. So trust your magic and take a leap of faith. Coming with it in the Retro Spirit Oracle card. Ooh, fear. <laughs> yeah, you have a choice every time. So if you're pausing with your leap of faith, if you are pausing and trusting the magic that you are, the love, light, happiness that you are, perhaps you're pausing because of an old fearful story, right? Your choices are fear or love. Where are you going to go with it? I know it's an easy choice to say love and it can be a challenge to overcome an old fear and yet we're masters at this. This gets thrown at us all the time from old programming, experiences, presently, currently, you know, uh, out and about in the world, connecting with others. We may hear, see, witness their fears and it may inspire us to do a deeper dive with some of our own that come up and could potentially hold us back. The beauty of that is we continue to take great leaps of faith. We continue to trust the magic. We might pause, yeah. We might take this moment to make this choice when habitually in the past, we never did. We just stuck to the fear, <laughs> but we're moving on, right? Excellent. So if it crops up for you, unconditional love and kindness for the self. Our first two cards from Lightseers, we have the Hierophant beautiful along with the ten of cups <laughs> this card uh, I believe this card has shown up 18 times I've done a little tally of cards since the lunar eclipse in May I'm going to do a reading on it so be on the lookout for that um, but yeah I believe this is the 17th or 18th time we've seen this card in two months ten of cups and for for me, intuitively, this card has become a beacon. You know, it is the hermit's lantern. It is what's on our horizon. It's what's now as well. This is how we're living, celebrating, manifesting, making magic over here, right? And here's the Hierophant. So we're educating ourselves. We are investing in our foundation, our dreams, our goals, our vision. I love this stairway. <laughs> I want to call it a stairway to heaven over here with the Hierophant because this is a nice demonstration of bringing heaven to earth. You know, we are paying attention to our wisdom and our experience. We're bringing it all together to continually create a 10 of cups lifestyle, ace of cups to the power of 10. And it takes ongoing investment to make that happen and I feel the Hierophant is a is a beautiful representation of that and re he reminds us to be the gateway the threshold cross our own gateway cross our own threshold into this you know this is a choice every day too. this ten of cups you know it can only be taken down by fearful thoughts old programming belief systems handed to us by peers and elders and perhaps even culturally so uh, I feel that trusting in the magic and taking a great leap of faith is us being the Hierophant every day, seeing where we might hold ourselves back in this beautiful fear card and going ahead, taking the leap anyway. Let's see what's next. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Yeah. 
you know, I'm starting to see with the, just these three cards, a transformational creation story. And how beautiful the Hierophant is sitting here in such relaxed meditative posture, but laughing. And then here's our gorgeous Queen of Cups, wide open to what the universe provides in the way of guidance, support, friendship, love, ongoing investment, in what is right and here she is kind of the conduit i feel like this is us in receiving mode for what we're bringing from heaven to earth and living joyously in the 10. Mm, very beautiful next two cards look at this death card talk about transformation oh my gosh and coming with the lovers look at that I just said a transform, transformational creation story and you can see it right here. Simultaneous endings and beginnings. Moving into harmonized divine feminine masculine energy within ourselves, a heartfelt choice, a heartfelt choice for us to continue to select love over fear, for us to continue this bringing heaven to earth, uh, style of living on our foundation in a Ten of Cups celebration, right? It takes this kind of allowing that we see here in the posture of the queen. And look how she's submerged in water. She really is feeling all the feels and sorting through them in a transformational way, continually and in a committed way, staying in heart space. So that this is what we are endlessly in creation with. Oh, clarifying our ten and our hierophant. Look at this ace of cups. Yes, this is this is amazing. So here we are, the queen, the hierophant. We are we have the death card. We are the lovers, and we are actively co-creating with the divine. The divine says, I've got you. Ace of cups, divine and cosmic gift of overflowing love, happiness, bliss. It's all right here. This is the universe saying yes. The other day, I think it was Thursday, we had the emphatic yes come out of two different decks. And I feel that's confirmed here with our ace. And then we have, look at that, the emperor. Incredible. So, Look how ethereal our queen is and look how grounded and present our emperor is, father of the tarot, connected so sweetly with the queen of cups, emotionally awake, aware, alert, intelligent, intimate, deeply in the vibe of creation, flow, allowing, transformation, lovers, choosing, right? Experience, wisdom, direct fiery energy, meeting in harmony <laughs> like heaven on earth in the hierophant creating the ten of cups meeting in harmony with this queen and then we have the sun hush shining its brilliant light and clarity on the whole scene for us you know the death card has us looking at horizons and horizons and you can see that here in the horizon is lit by the sun you can't miss it you can't miss anything that is within your sphere of influence and we're in recognition and witnessing of it all we are emphatically saying yes we are even embracing our fear we're trusting our magic and taking an incredible leap of faith because we trust ourselves this is a reading about co-creating universally so an even greater depth within self for celebrating our lives and the universe is emphatically saying yes to us and look at that what an amazing card the two of cups another card that has shown up in tremendous repeat over two months i believe this is now the 18th time we're seeing this card and look at this. We have the Hierophant, the stairway to heaven, bringing heaven to earth. We have the universe in support of our dream, our vision, our inner oracle, the 
transformation that is taking place, the harmonized love within us that creates this beautiful Ten of Cups experience. And now we have the sun weaving it all together along with the Ace of Cups. If you just pause for a moment on the video and gaze at these cards, you can see the momentum of how we are the greatest cog in the wheel <laughs> for bringing heaven to earth. We're turning our own wheel. We're making leaps of faith on it, even in the face of our own fear at times. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And this is an amazing confirmation reading for anyone who is having perhaps a lack of faith right now. Let this bolster your energy some. Okay. Wow. It's hard to move on from cards like these, but we're going into angel answers now. This is your opportunity to ask a question about this process for yourself or get confirmation or a fresh message. First. <laughs> Don't stop emphatically because emphatically <laughs> you are being successful. This is your success story that you're looking at right here in these cards. Does fear show up? Yes. Where does it come from? Old life experience. Are we in appreciation for its presence? Absolutely. Because in the witnessing of it, it allows more space. It allows, you know, a harmonization of energy. It allows us to do some healing work and it makes more space for all of this goodness. So embrace your fear. Give it the love it's asking for because look what is being delivered. Look what's flowing through your life experience. Listen to your intuition. Heck yeah. Doing that with the queen. More con confirmation there. One more card. <laughs> well, it's not an emphatic yes, but it is a sweet, simple yes. Hmm. And that feels... Like it's a part of our inner constitution. Yes. Keep going. Yes. Do I have what it takes? Yes. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Oh, our affirmation card. From the fortune reading cards, we've got fire. Yeah, passion, right? Let go of emotional upheaval. That's the fear card. And embrace the renewal of the present and we're doing that that's an incredible summary card i love how these affirmation cards for the day seems like no matter what deck we pull them from they really do bring the whole reading together and that's what hap that's what's happening here we are that fire <laughs> so trust your magic keep taking great leaps of faith look what you're creating have a beautiful monday everybody peace love joy happiness to each and every one of you Namaste.